Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at creating a flight plan for navigation purposes. So this is following on directly from our previous video, which was how to create waypoints in different ways and then fly between those waypoints. Well, we've got those same waypoints inputted here, but they are separate waypoints still. They're not linked together in a flight plan and we want to link them together in a flight plan. So if we look down at our TAD, you can see that we have our separate waypoints. We've got zero, our starting point if you like, one, two and three and you can tell they're separate because we don't they're not linked in any way so what we're going to do is we're going to create our flight plan now we do already have a, fl a default flight plan that came through from the mission editor but we're not going to use that we want to create our own one so let's get started we can do this for either from the cdu here again or from the cdu repeater page in conjunction with the ufc it's easier to do it from the U the uh, main ufc so we're going to go down here we're going to make sure we switch on our master knob here to flight plan because we're dealing with flight plans here then we're going to click flight uh, plan management here then we're going to create our new flight plan first of all we need a name for it call it well more or less anything you want but we're going to call it fp2 flight plan 2 and then we're going to click on this here the second slot for a flight plan 02 that's 02 created now we need to populate it so we're going to press this chap here and we are going to add in our waypoints manually now the waypoints we've got are 0 1 2 and 3 so we're going to add them in we're going to start with 0 and to get him I'm going to press 0 0 and I'm going to press on here the, the the first waypoint slot there and it's found and add it in add it in waypoint 0 and its name is init posit initial position next I'm going to add in 0 1 our waypoint 1 and we're going to put it in the second position here next we're going to add in our next waypoint 0 2 and we're going to add it in the third position and you guessed it 0 3 in the fourth position it's off the bottom of the screen so we're going to click page down and we're going to put it in fourth position just to interrupt you there um so if you added the uh zero zero in it position uh as your last waypoint then you'd have a complete uh start to finish oh so if i add it in as number five yeah that's yeah. Fine. nice okay so let's do that zero zero and number five so now we've got a full chain all the way back that's pretty cool so we're going to go back to the main flight plan uh flight, flight plan management now so we've still got uh, the star here so to make this one our active flight plan we're going to click this chap here and the star is now here and we can choose waypoint update manual or auto by clicking it again we can have auto or manual auto means that when we get to say waypoint one it will automatically then select for you waypoint two and if you wanted manual it wouldn't do that and you would have to select the next waypoint yourself with hud as soy and dms forward and aft to cycle between waypoints i want auto because i'm a lazy man so next we're going to check out our HUD, going to make that soy quickly and just check that we, all our waypoints are working here with DMS up, waypoint 1, waypoint 2, waypoint 3, waypoint initial position, back to initial position. That's all good and now we're going to look finally on the TAD and you can see that we still have our same waypoint 0, 1, 2 and 3 but they are now linked in a chain because they are now a full working flight plan and two advantages of navigating as a flight plan like this is first of all that we can get the automatic waypoint updating like we talked about and so not having to change them but also we get this um these track lines going between waypoints and these may be important you may need to follow a track line exactly for some reason um maybe if you're guiding yourself between sams or something you want to follow that track line and not deviate at all we can do this now that we've got the uh, the flight plan set so we can follow those tracks exactly so that is showing how to create a flight plan for from waypoints, from separate waypoints for navigational use. That's the full scope of this video, but I'm going to let Sly explain how it can also be used in a military context, which we'll show in another video. So basically, uh, with the, um, the the auto and the manual waypoints, if you're just flying a, uh, a flight plan, you can just leave it in manual. As you fly over them, they'll update. If you change it to uh, the reason why you want, might want to change it to manual is because you might have a target waypoint on waypoint three and you don't want it to keep changing and keep taking you away from there so you hang, uh, so you take turn it off to manual hang around your say waypoint three uh, you're in your wheel you're marking targets on your uh, cd on your tgp sorry uh creating up all these mark points for the targets before you run in to do your attack 
you may have marked shulkers, you may have marked sands, all the sort of the high air threat uh, air defenses that you want to take out first. Um, and they might all be on different random mark points. So what you can do is cycle through your mark points, take notes of which mark points are the high priority targets, then go back into your flight plan and create a flight plan that just includes those high priority targets uh, 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 mark points. And then what you can do is once you've got that flight plan created, use your steer up and down keys. Uh, you might want to bind them to a hot air function, hot air function, and then you can just very quickly, using that flight plan and the steer point up and down, rocker key, uh, change between those very high priority targets. That allows you then to very quickly lock, lock on Mavericks or lock on GBU 38s, and then you can very quickly drop six GBU 38s or fire off, you know, salvo fire off uh, six uh, Mavericks or four Mavericks uh, straight at those targets uh, very, very quickly. So that would be the weapons use. And again, we'll look at that another day. Right, that's the end of this video. I hope that helps and see you later.